Hello everyone, welcome back to Subsistence. Um, it is early morning and today we are going to start the day in a similar manner that we did yesterday and that we are going to be creating some mass, just enough to make another lock pick. I have still been working on the BCU crackers, the material for those overnight. So, um, there's that. We're getting pretty close. We do have enough to craft one, actually. We just don't have the mass and the power stored for that. Um, I do want a lock pick. Hopefully we have enough refined iron. I do need to do a lot of um, work on getting that. We do need 10 more iron bars or metal ingots. We do need that. And we only have just enough refined for that. So let's go ahead and start this. Split it in half. And here and here. And there we have it. Let's get our lock pick out of the BCU. Let's have a bite of food. Let's also take an extra water with us today just to have it. We do need some tomatoes as well as some type of protein. But let's go ahead and have a liver and onions first. And a couple of tomatoes again as well. We have food and water. Our chickens are fed and watered. Um, they will be getting pretty hungry when we get back probably but today let's go over on the other side we did attempt to try to do that yesterday however the day kind of got away from us we did leave the generators running i do need that sandstone cannot pass it up it's right here on the surface i really need to go ahead and get that very very nice and we have four sandstone for the day Okay, let's get our bow out. I did not craft any extra arrows. We do have, you know, our lock pick here. Um, I think we're doing quite well. Again, I have no idea where rogues are. If there are rogues on this map, I don't even know anymore. Um, let's get just a tiny bit of wood. We will be needing this to top up the fire when we get back. We're going to have to cook more water, of course, after feeding and watering the chickens. It's just the same routine, guys. You know this if you play this game. And a lot of you do because a lot of you know more about this game than I do, which is great. I love learning more about this game. Okay. So today, um, I don't see any crates down here right away looks like a fire right over there I'm not sure if it is it's probably not that far away but um, it did look like one but that's okay we'll deal with those guys if we need to when we get over there if we make it over there today okay chickens this cannot happen again today you some of you guys need to die because we don't have any more room for any more live chickens there's some scrap Plant fiber, I don't even know why I'm continuing to pick that up. We just have an abundance of that. I am or have turned a lot of it. And by a lot, I mean like two stacks of uh, plant fiber just into some fuel bricks for the fire. And a broken arrow, and I didn't have that arrow to waste. But there we have it. There's two chickens on here really need your feathers guys can I not just pluck you and put you back on the ground just give me one or two of your feathers I'm sure they're probably falling out as you're running away but you really need to die here chickens so I think I'm just going to ignore you being in my inventory for a while just kind of see what happens what is over there is that a bear yeah okay so let's head up this direction see what else we can find Besides bears and wolves and still alive chickens. Okay. Ooh, a crate. Yay. Surprised I didn't get injured jumping off that or down that hill like that. <laughs> Surprised I didn't get my leg broken or something. Lose some hit points. Um, there's an ore up here. A couple of ores, actually, that I probably should try to harvest. Because we are getting desperate for ores. 
I don't know what that sound was. Apparently he was doing a tap dance on a rock, but that is okay too. We don't really need copper as much as we need iron. Iron is a huge deal for us right now. Um, great. So we did get that. Um, we are over in the locked crate area already. Didn't intend to go over here so quickly. Usually I have better luck with these guys later in the day. The locked crates in this area. But you never really know what's over here. Um, scrap, for one, is always lovely. There's an ore way up on that rock. There's a crate just right here. I love the ammo crates. We do need things to make shotgun rounds. More strawberries here. They're very, very pretty. And we are in June, so apparently um, strawberries are plentiful in June. I'm not sure exactly. Ooh, a bear. Bear. Wolfie McGee. I'm not sure exactly how many strawberries we have harvested this season already, but I'm sure it's several. Quite a few, honestly. Or it definitely seems that way. Um, scrap is great today, so it appears. Another ammo crate over here. Very, very nice. Hopefully that wolf has stopped chasing me. But I am not so certain about it. I hear you. I hear your little feet behind me. And your barky bark. Okay, let's just run around with the wolf chasing us and see what's down here. We were, we were going in this direction anyway. Might as well get there a little bit quicker. Uh, no loot down here. Nothing at all. There is the crate that marks the cave entrance. Okay. There's a bear over there. And a wolf over there. Hmm. Let's just stop here and gather a bit of wood. We do need wood again. And that should allow for some crates to spawn in. And it'll let my stamina regenerate if there's a stamina issue. Um, someone left that comment. Yes, that is a lovely tip for early game. I just forget about it. Um, if you're having stamina issues, stop and chop wood. It doesn't cost any stamina to chop wood. And that way you are being productive you're gathering a resource and you're gathering your stamina back up which is great another chicken that is running away and now we have a couple of crates up here as well as an ore here i think this is potassium we don't have room for that if we need to this is the first thing we're going to toss out today <laughs> because we just don't need it we have more potassium than we can store in a crate right now Let's get this crate as well. Lovely. More ammo producing or making items. Blueberries that we don't need. We're running. We have blueberries running out our ears. Uh, I do love blueberries in real life. I'm partial to the blueberry muffin. I do enjoy those. Okay, we have nine pieces of scrap already, and this day is just getting started. Um, hopefully this is iron here. We are desperate for that, of course, as always. I think as long as you're playing this game, you're always desperate for iron and scrap. Um, just seems like those two things are something that is used in almost every single recipe in the game. Um, it's not a huge deal, though, honestly. It seems like it's, you know, pretty readily available for the most part. There was an onion there that I did pick up as well as some plant fiber. Um, there's another big tree here. Should I stop and gather more wood or should I just wait until I cross the water? Possibly just going to wait until I'm across the water before I chop on a tree. There's a couple of oars here. There's a pig over there as well. That could be interesting. We do need the pork chops as well. Don't run away, kind pig. Iron and copper here. That's great. 
He's a level two. A level one, I think we could kill with just this bow, specifically. If you would just stop, that would be nice. Oh dear, I wasted a shotgun round. Um, didn't intend to do that. However, I did sort of panic. Um, don't know why, but I did. Doot, 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 doot. Okay, let's wash our hands. And let's get over here at this tree, the, the big six log tree, and just chop a bit of wood. See what we can find over here today. There, there is a potential for a locked crate. Pretty close by, I think. Um, I do sometimes miss this one. Um, I have been known to overlook it because there's a lot of wildlife over here. <laughs> Quite a bit, honestly. Okay, we did chop all of the logs from that tree. What's down here? Nothing. No plant fiber or anything. These tall weeds always uh, make me think there's plant fiber in this area. Let's just look around, see what we can find. Hopefully we're not missing anything. Um, there's another big tree up here. There's also a bear over there. Let's just get this medicinal plant and go around the long way. Looks like there's a crate down here. Uh, a couple of crates, actually. Let's get the ammo crate first. Because there's never really anything great in the other crates. We have five arrows available. Uh, we have 17 shotgun rounds, which is way too many that, you know, that I don't normally carry on me. Um... Yeah, hopefully we can find some more crates today. I really do enjoy getting all this loot. We've had two pretty good days lately getting loot. Um, two pieces of scrap just here, which is very, very nice. Um, a wolf right up the path there. Another crate over here behind this rock, which is great. Uh, there's an ore up there, but I'm not quite sure how to get up there. Maybe it wouldn't be too difficult. Oh, there's actually two ores up there. Can you just run up this rock? Uh, no. There's no way to just jump up there either, so I think I'm going to have to leave those two. There is a bear over here on this locked crate area. Always a bear over here. Sometimes a couple bears like today there's two over here there's a crate just here hopefully we can get that let's go ahead and harvest this bear i honestly don't know what we would do with a locked crate at the moment anyway I'm not quite sure why I'm too worried about finding one. I don't know where we would even put the stuff. We've had a really great loot day already. I'm sure there are things that we could throw away. Like we could eat the worms. We could harvest the chicken. Um, that probably wouldn't help us harvesting the chicken. We could throw away this potassium. We don't necessarily need it. But that's okay. If we don't find a locked crate, I am not complaining. We just have a lot of loot already. And we've done really well today. Okay, let's try to get up here and get this crate. This is a really nice place for ores as well. It's not as great as the rock over by our base. But it can be. As you, as you have seen, we've already gotten several ores. And there's still a couple here to get. And we are doing pretty well overall. Not complaining at all. Got an 18 iron today. It's very nice. Um, there's also this rock behind me that's really great for ores as well. Let me go ahead and get this ammo crate. Ooh, gunpowder very nice 
Um, there's probably that brown bear up here as well. Uh, there's a wolf up here, nonetheless. Let's go ahead and kill him and harvest. And we are desperately going to be needing to wash our hands very soon. I know, I know. There's a bear over here somewhere. But there is an ore right here. I think that's potassium. If it is, I'm not even going to bother. It is. Well, it's only two more hits, so it's not like it's taking forever. Um, another bear or wolf bear back here. Okay, let's just get down this way. Let's have another little look around over here. Again, I don't want to miss any just normal crates because that is loot. Um, um, there's a couple crates over here that have spawned in behind us. Scrap. 13 pieces of scrap already today. That's really good. We were getting pretty low on that at the base. We're not really using it to build with anymore. We have our base pretty close to being built exactly, you know, finished up. We want it to be exactly like it is. So we don't really have anything else to do to it at all. However, I'm not going to pass up on free scrap. Especially if I see it and there's nothing standing in the way between me and it. If you guys have seen a locked crate in the area, I do apologize for that. It is starting to get later in the day, and I do need to make my way on around the um, lake here and get back to the base. We have a lot of meat in our inventory, and I don't want all of that to go bad. We do have a chicken here. We have gotten two chickens, as a matter of fact. And we have, I think, a couple of feathers in our inventory. We have three in total, which is great. Um, I do need to make arrows with that, so I'm not going to have three for very long. But that's okay also. I thought I saw a crate up here. However, it could just be a fern. You know how that is. Me and ferns don't get along. Ooh, scrap again. 22 blueberries in our inventory as well. We usually keep about six. So we have an excessive overflow of blueberries in our inventory. Okay, we did find a locked crate over here in the last episode. So I'm not really too... Um, sure that we're going to find another one over here today. Let me get over on this side. There's another pig down here, which means another pork chop. I wonder if we can kill this guy. He's floating on, floating on air. Something dead over there. Is that a deer that's dead already over there? I do think some something has um, killed a deer. I don't think we're going to be able to harvest it. I think when you get close to it that it kind of just disappears as you have just seen it disappear. Okay. Um, loot. It is starting to get late in the day. That's an issue for us. Let's get this crate here. Bow fuel, lovely. Wash our hands. Let's get kind of up on the hillside a bit here. Just see what's up this way. Not too sure we're going to find a lot of loot up here. Um, an ammo crate just here. Just gonna. Ooh, what do I hear? I don't have enough arrows for this. Where are you? There you are. How many are you? There's a locked crate right here. Can I kind of sneak over here? Darn it, be really, really quiet. Stop being so noisy loading this thing. 
Oh dear, where am I going to put all this stuff? Um, ammo. Need these worms. Biofuel is great. Potassium. Which one are you? Potassium. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Take the copper. What can we do here, guys? Oh, dear. As much as I don't want to, I'm going to eat those. I am going to take that. We have room for the nails here, of course. Um, cordage. Can I make some more cordage? And I'll take that. Okay, can we run away? I really needed more arrows. Okay, I wonder if you're still chasing me. I don't have room for you. We have a bear, we have a rogue up on the hillside here from us. We are just not doing great. I think the bear stopped chasing us. Hopefully he found someone else interesting. Stuck on a tree. Get him bear, get him. Don't get me. <laughs> get him, bear, get him. Get him, bear, get him. So that bear is still alive, but we are going to have to kill it. Okay, hey, let's get some bags here, guys. Hopefully there's some nice loot here. I do think that's just plant fiber. We don't need those. Um, bags all over the place here. Lovely. Let's see what we tossed out here. Potassium ore and plant fiber. We don't need either of those. And we got all of the things from this guy. One, two, scrap. We killed a guy with three. Uh, let's take this bear's meat and stuff here. And of course, he's going to have a liver. Let's go ahead and butcher this guy. Take that. Butcher this guy. Pick up the two chicken fillets. Get ourselves home. I thought there were four guys of the rogues, but that's okay. I'm not going to be concerned. The bear did most of the work for us, which was lovely, and I am okay with that. I need to wash my hands before I get an infection. However, we probably have the stuff back at the base to uh, craft an antidote. We don't have one crafted, uh, of course, but that's okay as well. A uh, bag here and a wolf. Um, I'm really, really excited about this loot day, guys. We have done really really great trying to just get home I'm trying not to kill anything else we are out of arrows we don't have room for that either there's another wolf chasing us um, there's lots of things up the beach that we could pick up um, we can't pick that up because we don't have the space for it we don't have the space for any of this stuff the strawberry we don't even have the space for, which is very, very sad. Um, hopefully we can get in the base before these wolves eat us. And get on a lot because it's getting super dark. Our chickens are doing well. They are very, very hungry and thirsty. I need to get some food and water in those guys. Okay, get off the door frame. You're doing great. Let's go ahead and put this meat away the chicken as well um, let's put our loot away also 
We got 18 pieces of scrap today, guys. That is a really, really great day. It's a really, really great scrap day, of course. Um, cloth, feathers. We're doing pretty good with feathers now. Um, I can craft myself some arrows overnight. Um, so that's nice. We do have these to put away. We can put the medicinal things away as well. Um, here, um, cloth, biofuel, all of that stuff can go in here. Um, what else goes in there? The ammo parts, or the weapons parts, sorry. Let's go ahead and put the 77 gunpowder for the day away, which is lovely. 17 arrows, that's pretty good. Would like to have a full stack, but that's okay that we don't have. Not going to complain about that too much. We have lots of ammo here as well. And the rest of this is ores. We have our iron refined, which is very, very nice. We have more to put in here as well as some copper and some sandstone. Let's put this away. And the fat, we can go ahead and place that over here as well. I don't think the stove will hold all of that. I'm not quite sure the exact number that you can put in there. Yeah, it'll hold it. That's great. So probably 20 pieces of fat if I was guessing. And that's just me being a very, very rough guess. Uh, let's go ahead and ignite that because we are going to need to cook some water as well. But it's getting dark in here, guys, so I need to get on a lot. I'm going to feed the chickens, give them some water, and then craft some arrows overnight. And I'm just going to call it a day here. So I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate all of your support on this channel and on this series as well. I hope you enjoyed this um, episode. I hope you're looking forward to future episodes. And I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day.